Konnichiwa from Japan. Here in Tokyo, love is in the air. After that opening ceremony, you know, it has a way of doing that to us, reminding us all that brings us together as opposed to what tears us apart. Welcome back to our daily check-ins with Raj Mathai. Raj right now is in Japan and Tokyo covering the Olympics. And Raj, you were at the opening ceremony. Like you said in that video, love is in the air. You're feeling it. How was it? I need every detail. Ah, uh, it's cool. You know, finally we get to stop talking at least for four hours. We just stopped thinking and talking about COVID and case counts. And Abby, I'm just going to take the lead of the athletes. We saw on their faces the joy and the accomplishment. I don't care if they win a medal or not, the, the accomplishment of getting here. So if we can live through the athletes for the next two and a half weeks, I think that's the joy. That's the spirit of the Olympics. Let's smile. Let's enjoy it. Of course, we're going to be safe, but it, it was just awesome. The city finally felt magical. Uh, that, that heavy cloud was lifted over it for, for several hours last night. Well, I saw on your Twitter too, Raj, that you posted some some really cool pictures. It's the ones <laughs> where you see like the actual lighting up of the stadium. The stadium the inside the stadium, yeah. yeah. It's, it's... And, you, and, and then when Naomi Osaka was holding the torch, you got a picture of that too. And you had a really good seat, it looked like. I mean, what was it? What were you feeling as you were watching? Well, I'm just kind of, I'm out there. I'm outside where the media is, so it wasn't like the athlete's point of view. But uh, it was just cool. I've been to so many of these, and, and and to not say, oh my gosh, this is great, but each one is distinct. And this might be the most significant one, just because the pandemic, because it wasn't just a pure party. It was actually like, hey, you know what? We need to just come together. Um, so this was really significant, and I think it just kind of set a nice tone uh, for Tokyo and Japan and for the whole world because we're in this together. Yeah. Yeah, as we're watching. But um, how did it feel? I mean, talking about how different it was, you were in there and um, there weren't any fans or anything. How did it, was it silent? I mean, was it, was, I don't know. What was It's what It's was it different like? because, you know, we, we've actually done, I've been to a 49ers game last season when there was no uh -huh. fans at Levi Stadium. And and it was odd. It's different. And, but, but you just have to live through the athletes. Again, it's through yeah. the athletes, their energy. Um, no one's going to tell you, oh, it was electrifying in the stadium. It wasn't. You know, there, there's no fans there. We feed off energy, right? Me and you right now, we're feeding off energy. But if you don't have that energy of 65,000 fans, you don't have it. But so, like we said, you know, we're not alone or we're separated. But, you know, we're, we're, we're just together. You know, we're apart, but we're together. Well, I'm still watching it here. It's it's airing, um, <laughs> re-airing on NBC, so I'm catching up here. But that is so cool that you got to live through that. And like you I, said, I, I mean, living through the athletes for sure. I got something for you. <gasps> show me. Oh, are you going to bring that back is the question. Yeah. You can't I'll just show. You can't. You. Oh. I'll that is so cool. You. you know, what is it made of? It's just paper. Uh, I think it's just paper. Yeah, but usually we get all these trinkets at the Olympics, and it's like you know, shot glasses and scarves and things that you never use. This, whoo, it's hot. This, yeah. Have yeah, you been using it? it? <laughs> yeah, I just got it last night. I'm using it. How hot is it right now out there? It's 90 degrees with about 70 percent humidity. It's just you know, you're dripping. You're like eating the air. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Look, we're here. It's wow, a great no, story. but it's a yeah. Great city, but, but it's oh my hot. gosh, and you've been wearing polo, so that's good. At yeah. least you don't have like those long ones. Oh my gosh, Raj. No, I'm okay, wearing pants, you know, me. I'm wearing like you know, kind of athletic pants, and you know, we're doing Love our thing. It. We're making it work. <gasps> 90 degrees. Wow. Okay. So I am, since yesterday, I've been dreaming about the 7-Eleven talk, uh, Raj. Yeah. You teased me about <laughs> it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show our viewers here some, some video you sent me here. Let's yep. take a look. There it is. Walking through 7-Eleven. And Abby, that is the cleanest 7-Eleven in the history of clean. All the 7-Elevens here in Tokyo are really nice. It's not like a, eh, let's go get a Slurpee and dirty and junky. It's beautiful. It's spotless. The food is good. They have sushi there. They have snacks. And it's all edible, doable, and very good. And remember, I'm on that 14-day quarantine, so we can't go out to restaurants. So 7-Eleven kind of becomes our, one of our sources for food when we don't want to eat uh, in, the, in the NBC commissary. Crazy. So you've tried that food already? We tried the sushi. We tried the sushi rolls. Uh, and then they have usual candy bars and the ice cream and snacks, potato chips. But 
they have actually legit food and people go in there and treat it almost like a mini grocery store. It's not that 7-Eleven you're used to back home, but we're used to. You're talking about candy bars and I know that there are some that are just sold in Tokyo. Have you tried any of those? Like some special edition um, Kit Kats or something? There, there's like a hundred different varieties of Kit Kats. That's coming soon. What? When I have access, when I'm out of my quarantine, I'm gonna go to the specialized Kit Kat store and we are gonna be snacking away. Oh, it's gonna be oh so good. Oh my gosh. You have to try every single, well, not all the hundreds of them, but at least <laughs> a few to, and tell us. I might get to, I might get to 50. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Well, that's fantastic. Raj, we're going to keep talking to you throughout the week. Of course, guys, stay tuned and follow Raj on his socials at Raj Mathai. Raj, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, guys. Adios. Bye, Abby. Bye.